Uh, what's going on guys? It appears that the crypto Ponzi schemes are collapsing right before our eyes. It's actually quite a sight to see. It's pretty incredible. So you guys are aware of what happened with Terra Luna, right? Terra Luna collapsed 99% <laughs> in a matter of like 48 hours. It was quite incredible. So the founder actually changed it and made that old project that died into uh, Luna Cra Classic, Terra Classic. And then he created another thing called Luna 2.0 and that collapsed. Holy cow, it's crazy how uh, people don't wake up. But now you have some other things going on. So the South Korean authorities, because you know the founder of that crazy project is from South Korea. The South Korean authorities are not only investigating him, but new story came out. They are reportedly conducting a full investigation of Terraform Labs and have subpoenaed all employees. So you've got that going on. And now in other news, the founder of Shiba Inu, another meme coin, uh, Ryoshi, has deleted reportedly deleted all of his previous posts and his twitter handle and he has nothing to show in addition to that ryoshi has also deleted all of his shiba inu blogs including uh the first one that he ever made and he also deleted his uh twitter bio as well uh that is very fishy uh in other words if you guys want my honest opinion i think these crypto ponzi schemes are finally starting to collapse and i want to make this very clear i say this all the time i think 99 percent of most of the cryptos are scams unfortunately but I do think there is that 1% like a Bitcoin, Ethereum that are not scams and that are not Ponzi schemes. So to further encapsulate this entire uh, picture and understand what we're dealing with here, uh, let's actually look at what a Ponzi scheme is, right? So real quick. A Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent investing scam that promises high rates of return. Terra Luna did that, by the way. Uh, high rates of return with little risk to investors. The term owes its origin to a swindler named Charles Ponzi who made his name in the 1920s. A Ponzi scheme, by definition, is an investment fraud in which clients are promised a large profit at little to no risk. Companies that engage in a Ponzi scheme focus all of their energy into get this attracting new clients to make investments doesn't that sound like a lot of these meme coins out there in the crypto space i think it does um they're generally multi-level uh, marketing schemes a lot of you guys know them as mlms in which money from new investors is used to pay profits for earlier investors this continues until new investors keep joining now when we read that definition right there there are so many cryptos that come to mind uh saitama inu um luffy coin <laughs> uh come rocket um shiba inu uh, there, there are so many, but one of the greatest examples that I could think of when looking at this right here, let's, let's go ahead and read this again, right? Ponzi scheme is an investment fraud in which clients are promised a large profit at little to no risk. Companies that engage in a Ponzi scheme focus all of their energy into attracting new clients to make investments. That immediately makes me think of Saitama. Saitama is one of the most popular meme coins out there. And in my opinion, Saitama is an outright scam and a Ponzi scheme. And I have actually made so many videos on that. As a matter of fact, my highest viewed video to date... <laughs> is a video of me calling Saitama a scam. It's actually really funny. That is still my most viewed video. So it's actually really funny. But anyway, my point in making this video is I'm not going to lie to you guys. I always want to be honest. Some of these things that I'm starting to see as we're starting to see some of these uh, Ponzi schemes and crypto start to collapse are really starting to make me rethink my own uh, crypto investments. Now, I do not own Bitcoin, but I think I'm going to start buying it for the first time because in my personal, I'm going to tell you why, because in my personal opinion, I think in the next 10, 20 years, Bitcoin and Ethereum will for sure be here, right? All the other altcoins, I'm not so sure. Even the ones that I really, really like, like Polygon and Cardano, I love those cryptos. But based on everything we're starting to see, I'm just not so sure. Now, let me make sure I make this very clear distinction, okay? In my personal opinion, right, because I could always be wrong, I do not think that every crypto is a Ponzi scheme. I know there's a narrative out there amongst the uh traditional wall street old guard who thinks that all crypto is a ponzi scheme i disagree with that i think crypto is here to stay and i do not think that every single crypto is a scam and a ponzi scheme i think bitcoin is legit that's just my opinion i think ethereum is legit that's just my opinion there are a few altcoins that i think are legit too but if you want my honest opinion i think if you really want to pick the safest things to invest in for the long term i think uh bitcoin and ethereum is your best bet and i have no doubt that bitcoin and ethereum will be here to stay but what's 
crazy is you're seeing the collapse essentially of pretty much all of the main coins. I mean, you're seeing Shiba Inu has collapsed so bad that the founder just lost his mind and is just deleting everything. I don't know why he's doing that, but that's uh, very, very fishy. It's starting to make me think like, holy freaking cow, I can't believe I own that at one point, right? <laughs> Even though it was for a trade, right? Now you've got Do Kwan with the whole Terra Luna thing being investigated. And what's so incredible about this whole meme coin Ponzi scheme thing is people fell for it again. <laughs> I mean, literally, let me show you guys this graphic. People actually had a graphic compl uh, comparing Do Kwan to Bernie Madoff, which is actually really funny. You know, they have this graphic right here. In 2009, Bernie Madoff lost investors $60 uh, billion. He was sentenced to 150 years in prison. Uh, in 2022, uh, Do Kwan lost investors $60 billion after Luna collapsed to zero. He then created Luna 2.0, which is crazy that this man could be the boss of a crypto that tanks 99% in 48 hours. Then he creates another crypto and actually got people to invest in it. And then we all know what happened. That crypto tanked about 70% in one day. It is crazy how these crypto scams work. But the ultimate reason why I want to make this video is because, unfortunately, I know a lot of people aren't going to listen, but I want to at least try. For all of those people who call themselves crypto degenerates and are investing in a lot of these Ponzi schemes and meme coins, Saitama, Shiba Inu, blah, 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 you got to get out because I think things are going to get really ugly. And I'm thinking about making a video about Tether because, in my opinion, if Tether does fall, I think it's going to take the entire uh, crypto market with it. Uh, right now, Tether is doing okay. It, it hasn't fallen yet, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not so sure. But just seeing some of these news updates that we're seeing regarding these uh, crypto meme coins that I believe to be Ponzi schemes. It's just crazy how we're starting to see the collapse. And I just want to put this warning out for those of you who may own some of these coins. I'm telling you right now, the collapse is only going to get worse. I think we're starting to see the beginning of the collapse of many of these meme coins. Now, we know that Terra Luna collapsed, right? And then Terra Luna 2.0 got released and then that collapsed. But I'm not so sure we've completely seen um, the collapse of Shiba Inu and some of these other things like Dogecoin. I know people probably don't like it when I say that. But, yeah, I think Dogecoin is uh, crap, too. Uh, I am not a fan of that either. Let me actually go look at the market cap real quick, guys. I just want to see where Shiba Inu is. Okay, so Dogecoin, surprisingly, is still in the top 10 of uh, by market cap of all the cryptos. Uh, Shiba Inu is still number 15. But Shiba Inu is down drastically uh from the time where it basically hit its all-time high it looks like it's down about uh 56 percent and uh yeah i think that's it i just want to give you guys that quick update uh i think the collapse is coming in the crypto space at least as it relates to a lot of these ponzi schemes <coughs> <Saitama. laughs> but anyway uh that's it i'll keep this video short thank you guys so much for watching feel free to like share and subscribe and uh, i will see you guys in the next one